Hi, welcome to my channel, The Magic of Math. Today, my lesson is more of a practice, but I want to show you how we can use sample spaces to find compound probability. So my previous video focused on what is a sample space and how do you create it. Now we're going to focus on not only creating it, but using it to find compound probability. So here we go. Compound probability and we want to know what's the probability that we will roll two die with a sum of eight. So once again, the previous video, it will be great for you if you don't understand these key vocabulary terms or how to find a sample space or what that even means, okay? But if you watch that video and you're all set, let's go. So I'm looking to see which ones have a sum of eight. So here's my sample space. I identify that this is a six by six table. So I have a total of 36 different outcomes when I roll two die, and I can identify that there are five sums of eight. So five out of the 36 possible outcomes are eights. So I have a five in 36 chance of rolling an eight when I roll two die. Now let's look at our tree diagram. I want you to create a tree diagram that is represented by flipping two coins. So if you um, are familiar with tree diagrams and you know what to do, I'm going to ask you to pause the video and draw out your tree diagram. Come back when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So I'm creating my tree diagram. Here's my first branch. So when I roll the first and flip the first coin, I can get heads or tails. And then this right here represents the second toss. So on my second toss, I might have had heads and on the first and then heads on the second, heads on the first or tails on the second. But if I got tails on the first, I would get heads on the second or tails on the second. So I can see from this tree diagram that after I flipped a coin two times, there are four different possible outcomes to this compound event. And then remember, it's compound because I'm flipping it once and flipping it again. All right, now we want to use that tree diagram from that previous slide to find out what is the probability that you will flip one head and one tail in any order. So you should have your tree diagram on your paper. So go ahead and use your tree diagram to tell me what the probability is that you will flip one head and one tail and order doesn't matter. Hit pause, come back when you're ready. Welcome back, let's see how you did. So here's my tree diagram and I identify in there that I have heads and tails here and tails and heads here and they said order did not matter. So two out of my four outcomes are a heads and a tails. So that means simplified my probability of this happening is a one out of two chance so, or 50% chance. However you answered is fine with me. All right now I want you to create the sample space that is going to show three different ways that you can get to school in the morning by bus, by car, or by walking, and three different ways that you could get home in the afternoon, bus, car, or walk. But remember, you could ride the bus to school and take the car home, or you could walk to school and take the bus home. So remember, there are many different possible outcomes. Create a tree diagram or a table to represent this sample space and find out how many different combinations of ways that you could get to school and home. And I want to know how many possible outcomes there is to this compound event. So go ahead and create your sample space. Hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. So I created a table. You might have done a tree diagram. So I said these are all the ways I could get to school in the morning and all the ways I could get to home from school in the afternoon. So here are my nine outcomes. I could ride bus home to school and bus home bus to school, car home, bus to school, walk home, same thing with the car, same thing with walking to school in the morning, and what I do in the afternoon. So nine different outcomes. Now I want you to use that sample space and find out the, what the probability that you will ride the bus to school and walk home. Okay, let's see how you did. So here's our table, our sample space. Riding the bus to school and walking home is only one of the nine outcomes. So the probability that I will ride the bus to school and walk home is one out of nine. 
All right, here we go. I want you to create a tree diagram of flipping three coins. Please pause, create your tree diagram, come back when you're ready. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So you should have three different events here. So the first event, when I flip the coin once, I can get heads or tails. Then each of these for the second flip needs to get branched off with heads or tails, heads or tails. Now to flip my third coin, every one of my second outcomes, heads or tails, heads or tails, heads or tails, heads or tails. Now, keeping in mind the fundamental counting principle that we learned in the previous video, the first event, there are three events, the first event, the second event, the third event. There are two different outcomes to the first, two different outcomes to the second, two times two is four, and when we originally did this tree diagram for two coins, we got four outcomes. When I flip the coin the third time, I need to multiply two more outcomes. So two times two is four, times two is eight, and here are our eight different outcomes. This is an organized list that you could also do and see where it came from the tree diagram. Heads, 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 tails, all right, and then heads, tails, heads, heads, tails, 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 heads, heads, tails, head, tail, 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 head, tail, tail, tail. So that's how you read the tree diagram, and you could have also made this organized list. But you can see that this could get tricky after a while. So there are eight different outcomes. You can find that from your sample space, or you could have used the fundamental counting principle. But now I need the sample space because now I'm going to ask you to find the probability of something. So hopefully you have this written down. So using the tree diagram from the previous slide, I want to know what is the probability that you will flip one head and two tails in any order. Remember, the order does not matter. Go ahead and pause, find the probability, and come back. Welcome back. So here's my organized list. I have one head, two tails, two tails, one head, two tails, one head. So they said any order. So three of my eight possible outcomes are this. So the probability is three out of eight. So that's how you use sample spaces to find compound probability. I hope you found this um, activity helpful and that you learned more about sample spaces and how to use them. So we create sample spaces to help us find probability of events. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and have a great day.